For heightened security, the Washington, D.C. Metropolitan Area Special Flight Rules Area was created. It extends from the surface to, but not including 18,000 feet MSL, and encompasses some 2,800 square miles. Special flight rules provide for general aviation operations within the area. Before entering the airspace, you must file and activate a flight plan and contact ATC for a transponder code. VFR pilots must file a DCSFRA flight plan. This is in addition to any traditional flight plan that the pilot would normally file. At the heart of the DC Special Flight Rules area is a flight restricted zone with even more stringent requirements. If you enter the zone without authorization, you will be intercepted by military aircraft, so don't even think about it. A National Capital Region visual warning system has been developed to warn pilots that they are violating the DC SFRA. The warning system uses low-level laser beams of alternating red and green lights. These lights are safe to look at and can be seen up to 15 miles away during the day and 20 miles at night. Unfortunately, the light cannot penetrate visible moisture. Multiple laser sites provide coverage to the entire DCSFRA. Each site can illuminate and track a particular aircraft. If you see this, you should immediately contact ATC or call on 121.5 and turn to exit the area. A pilot can easily avoid flying through the DC Special Flight Rules area by using the many VORs located in the vicinity. If you want to fly within 60 nautical miles of the Washington DC VOR DME, you must complete a special awareness training program and hold a certificate of training completion. You can find this requirement in 14 CFR section 91.161. To get this free training, visit the FAA's website at www.faasafety.gov. After you complete the program, Print out your certificate of completion and keep it with you in case you are asked to show it to an approved official.